There's always a question we ask in life, how much is it going to cost me? I mean, selfishly, I always ask that question if I'm going to McDonald's or the drive through and I'm asking, you know, hey, uh, the two for one deal, is it really worth it? Uh, do I need to take in a couple extra laps around the gym and it be able to do it? Uh, probably. But at the end of the day, there is always that big question of what will it cost me? And for the Raiders, Trading up for a quarterback, you got to ask the question, how much is it going to cost for the Raiders to trade up? Now, it does depend on where they want to fall uh, and especially where they want to target, specifically which quarterback they want to target because I think there's a lot of them in this draft and really the offseason that they could really uh, look to bring in. But I really think, you know, with what the Raiders have in-house, that they've got some draft ammo now. I, I believe that they do. So uh, the Raiders 2023 uh, draft picks, you'll see here, uh, yes, the first-round pick there, seventh overall, uh, you know, they've got some ammo. They're right there in the top ten. Uh, they've got an extra fifth round pick from the Brian Edwards trade as well as an extra seventh there from the Patriots so you know I really think that there's some things that they could do some willing dealing here uh, for in the later rounds we'll have to see overall though and, and just really kind of uh, make sure that we put a microscope on that but I mean they've got some ammo here so uh, I can't in, in terms of answering the question of like what would it take for the Raiders to go up and get the number one overall pick. So they're at seven, going up to number one to potentially get a guy like CJ Stroud or Bryce Young or any of those guys. I, I think it it would it would be it would be expensive because if you look here, well, this is the, the 49ers trade for Trey Lance a couple of years ago. So yes, the 49ers traded away just to kind of give you guys a background here. I'm sorry. So you'll see here first round, yes, they got Trey Lance uh, for a third overall pick. But the Dolphins, they got their the first round of their that year from the 49ers, uh, which was, I believe it was technically number five, if I remember correctly. Directly. Uh, and then the, uh, yeah, then the, um, Dolphins traded away to the Eagles, uh, and the Eagles traded away to the Cowboys. It was a long list of things. Basically, uh, yeah, the the Cowboys basically got Micah Parsons out of the deal, which great, fantastic. Uh, the, the, they got one of the best pass rushers uh, in the NFL. You love to see it. Not really. Uh, then you see here, uh, yes, the, the next year after that, they used their, uh, or this year, excuse me, they used their first round pick uh, that they got in that trade uh, for the Tyree Kill trade, which is huge. Uh, and then also, uh, same thing this year, the third round pick this year, number 94th overall, uh, was used in the Tyree Kill trade, uh, trade, excuse me. And then finally, in 2023, uh, that first round pick that they got from the 49ers there was used in the Bradley Trod, uh, trade there. So it's like you get three first round draft picks. You get a third, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, the 49ers get a quarterback that, quite honestly, they may not m might not use. Like, let's be real. Like Trey Lance, I know I hope that he's recovering quick and all that, but at the end of the day, I mean, you gave up three number ones and a number three for a guy that you know Brock Purdy is currently playing pretty well, you know, in lieu of. So, I don't know. Could be something interesting to watch as we move down here. But the question has to be asked. So. It, that was also with the, the, the Niners uh, and there being kind of a quarterback tax because there were quarterbacks that year that, you know, were on the board. Like we talked about with Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence, uh, you know, Zach Wilson at the time. I, I know it's, it's definitely a long time ago, but, you know, there were quarterbacks that people were very interested in. And I think guys like CJ Stroud and Bryce Young, you know, Will Levis, uh, you know, uh, Stanson Bennett, there's going to be a lot of guys there that, you know, could be very interesting. But I think that the Raiders really need to really take a look at the quarterbacks that they like in this draft and really see what it would take. So, uh, in terms of answering the question, should the Las Vegas Raiders trade up for a quarterback? If they can get number one or number two from the Bears for relatively cheap, uh, from number one to number seven, I mean, it's not that big of a jump, but I think they would at least have to give up potentially a first, maybe even a second, or maybe the Bears don't even want to trade it, uh, and they're going to take you know a guy like uh, Lance or Stroud and then probably trade Fields. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I think that the Raiders really need to go to work here. They need to find out. Be, obviously, they're going to be making calls. Dave Ziegler and company are going to be doing their homework and really seeing what it would take, but I do think it's going to be something to watch like what could you have to do or what would you have to do to get that number one overall pick uh, and really go get that or really uh, you know maybe number three or number two or whatever because you know the Texans are going to take a quarterback the, the Colts are in the running as well uh, so and it could be interesting to see what the Arizona Cardinals do too so I, I think that there's a lot of different positions here where uh, the Raiders could potentially get a quarterback but at seven I don't know the Will Levis could be there uh, you know the, the Richardson kid from uh, Florida could be there but I do think overall this is a question you have to ask yourself should the Raiders go up and trade for their future signal caller i think it's something to consider but let us know what you guys think make sure you guys like and subscribe down below who would you like to see the raiders go ahead and trade up for or potentially draft also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes give us a follow on all of our social media platforms you'll find that in our comment section or our description excuse me uh, but if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about if and should the las vegas raiders trade up for a quarterback.